Hey guys, how do I sell up here? Welcome back to the channel and what a crazy morning today for Apple. Apple's October event has just concluded and in this video I wanted to give you guys a quick recap of some of the products announced. Apple has updated some of their products and unveiled a new products as well. But in this video I want to talk about iOS 15.1 as well. Apple today released the RC or release candidates. So we have a lot to talk about here. So without further ado, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest Apple news and iOS updates, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now, as I mentioned, Apple's October event, the Unleashed event has just concluded and Apple has announced new colors for HomePod Mini. Three new colors, color blue, orange and yellow has been added to the home pot lineup which is a minor update simply new colors i think they look very very nice of course links will be in the description down below for the entire keynote if you want to watch that now apple has also finally unveiled the airpods third generation these airpods have been rumored for so long and they're officially here with new spatial audio new design very similar to the AirPods Pro without the ear tips, by the way. So I think these are going to be very popular at $179. Apple has finally unveiled AirPods third generation. And of course, the stars of the show was the new M1 Pro MacBook Pro and the M1 Max macbook pro yeah that is a mouthful apple unveiled two new laptops the 14 and 16 inch macbook pros which is insane performance new device apple is bringing all the ports back including sd cards magsafe the headphone jack a new 120 hertz display and so much more i mean today's announcements for macbook pro has been crazy crazy insane again if you want to watch everything links will be in the description down below now today apple also released a mac os a monterey RC. Now, Mac OS Monterey will be released here shortly as well to the general public. As I mentioned, iOS 15.1 RC has just been released. iPad OS 15.1 was also released for developers and public beta testers alike. And Watch OS 8.1 RC has been released. And of course, TV OS 15.1. Now, just to give you guys a quick recap of what's new with iOS 15.1 and what's sticking around for some of the new features, we'll get to that in just a few seconds seconds this one comes in at approximately five and a half gigs of a download and now as i always say you're not going to be losing five gigs from your iphone this is simply overwriting the entire os in order to install ios 15.1 rc which is pretty much the official final release version and there is the latest bill number or the last bill number should be 19 b 74 we'll get to some of the details in terms of release dates but as i mentioned i want to give you guys a quick recap of some of the features we can expect with iOS 15.1 once it is released to the general public. Now I'm currently running the RC as I mentioned on this iPhone 13 Pro Max and we still have the SharePlay options are still available. So SharePlay for FaceTime is still here. So it looks like we're finally going to get SharePlay for FaceTime with iOS 15.1 here in the next couple of days. The driver's license feature has been enabled for certain states. Florida will be one of the states that will be supporting the new driver's license feature. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that will happen here shortly. Apple, of course, has also added the COVID-19 vaccination record cards this one's rolling out slowly as well only available in california as of right now and apple continues to change the ui we have minor changes to the spatial audio we have new animations within control center minor tweaking of the software which i really really like we also have new features available for airpods airpods pro and airpods max we have conversation boost which has been enabled we also have additional options within the control center we have under background sounds we have the ability Ability to adjust the amplifier and transparency modes directly within control center which is a minor welcome change of course we also have three new watch faces which are available with ios 15 and 15.1 adds the new uh, module and the new watch face for the apple watch series 7 and of course apple has also changed minor things within settings so if we go to the phone extension the announce calls icon is slightly tweaked as well as the facetime uh, announce calls icon has been changed as well within the uh, watch application we now have an updated ui to represent the new apple watch series 7 so 
All in all, Apple has updated iOS 15.1 to be an amazing software update. We got some new ad audiogram options available for those of you that use the accessibility features. We also have a new auto on and off toggle for micro photography so you don't switch between the ultra wide and the micro telephoto lens here. And of course, with iOS 15.1, Apple is enabling ProRes video capturing for iPhone 13 Pro and 13 Pro Max. Apple has promised this feature and now we can go ahead and enable it or disable it under the camera extension in settings going under format we have the apple pro res video capturing for iphone 13 pro and 13 pro max so that feature will be available with ios 15.1 now one thing we haven't seen is the new emojis or the graphical user interface that apple has promised for the app privacy feature that appears not to be the case as of yet it looks like that will continue to be pushed back uh, but all in all ios 15.1 looking good with a ton of new features Features and improvements for the software. Now, one thing I do want to mention is expect the release dates. Apple has mentioned that macOS Monterey should be available next Monday on October the 25th, and we can expect iOS 15.1 to be released next Monday within seven days on October the 25th. So mark your calendars next week, seven days from today, Monday, October the 18th, after Apple's event. Apple will be releasing iOS 15.1 TV. OS 15.1, watchOS 8.1, iPadOS 15.1, and of course, macOS Monterey will be available for the Macs as well. I did order a brand new Mac, of course, to share with you guys. My configuration won't arrive till early November. They're we're going out of stock quickly, but there you guys have it. Expect the release dates next week, macOS, iPadOS, tvOS, watchOS, and of course, iOS 15.1 is going to be available next Monday. Let me know what you think in the comments down below about the software so far. If you're running the RC. Thank you for watching this quick update, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.